Welcome to IHNC Shadow Week On Demand 2014. My name is Oscar Abink and I'm a research director with technology innovation with IHS. Um, I'm here today with Mahmoud Faradorisan of Silexa Limited. Um, welcome today. Thank, thank you very much um, for the invitation. Maybe a quick introduction about Silexa and what it does. Yeah, I mean, Selexa really specializes in uh, what we call distributed optical fiber sensing. So optical fiber has been used for uh, long distance telecommunications, but we use the optical fiber itself as a sensor and we can actually measure uh, parameters, physical parameters like temperature and acoustics mm. at every location on the fiber over long distance. Okay, very interesting. Now we've seen uh, digital acoustic sensing and digital temperature, distributed temperature sensing on the rise for the last couple of years in the oil and gas industry. What makes your company you know, distinction, distinction, distinguish from other companies? Yeah, as you mentioned, um, there has been a lot of interest for using this type of technology for, uh, especially in oil and gas, for reservoir monitoring. Um, one technology which has been around is distributed temperature sensors. But the um, distributed temperature sensor has its limitations, especially when you go to horizontal worlds mm -hmm. uh, because of you know, lack of uh, geothermal gradients. But acoustics uh, is a direct way of measuring the transfer of energy from flow into acoustic energy. Mm -hmm. So that was really the first motivation for us to really look at these uh, new possibilities. And, and that's also one of the distinctions of your company with others? That's right, but also, you know, there are other companies who have uh, or mentioned distributed acoustic sensors, but some of those systems are really a disturbance sensors. You know, um, one of the technology we develop is intelligent distributed acoustic sensors, which we branded as IDAS. Mm -hmm. And um, the differentiation is really we have a very high sensitivity in terms of amplitude, uh, very wide dynamic range. But also, you know, you could actually measure the acoustic signal meter by meter, and these are phase coherent. So that would allow you to do some uh, really novel applications, for example, like uh, distributed flow. And we also done some work on distributed seismic, like uh, borehole um, seismic profiling, as well as, you know, looking at um, fractures, you know, hydrofracking mm -hmm. monitoring. And the other application which we have been very successful recently is to be able to use this for well integrity, for example, to find leaks, and uh, which is one of the main concerns, especially in oil and gas. Okay. Well, and one of the discussions, again, looking with the technology perspective, is that um, these technologies have shown mixed results in, in practical use in the last few years. Is that something that you are able to overcome? Yeah, I mean, uh, the selector also does a uh, mix of technology, you know, like distributed temperature. Mm -hmm. But um, the new way that we, for example, like uh, uh, one of the key applications for flow, mm -hmm. we could actually measure very fundamental parameters of fluid properties, like um, by measuring the speed of sound through mm -hmm. fluid as it propagates. We can actually measure its compositions. But also okay. by looking at the the speed of sound in both directions, you know, going along the same direction as fluid and also in the opposite directions. We can measure the Doppler shift, which is due to the fluid velocity. And this is very fundamental measurements and directly we can measure fluid velocities. Okay, interesting. Um, but there's a lot more to work to yeah. be done. You know, it's, uh, okay. Um, another thing when we were talking uh, in advance of this interview, you mentioned that you had a recent breakthrough in the offshore and maybe you yeah, I mean, one of the interesting things was when we set up the company, we were really focused on uh, developing distributed multi-phase flow meter. Mm -hmm. um, but we have actually done some work on uh, offshore uh, seismic trials. Um, the initial expectation was, can we really see anything? And when we did the test, we could indeed see seismic-like um, signals. And um, this was really a breakthrough because this was the first time that uh, we could do seismic on demand without needing to shut off the productions. And one of the reasons why today they don't do borehole seismic is um, with the conventional technology, mm. you, you have to go and shut off the yeah. productions, which is not really 
usually um, favorable conditions. No, operators don't yeah. like that. And since you know, we were successful, you know, we then went back to uh, another site where they had multiple fibers, so we done a multiple borehole seismic offshore. Um, you know, this was done across three simultaneous wells uh, without again shutting the production, so we can measure flow as well as we can get a very good seismic data. Now, this technology is really um, uh, can be used for the life of the well. You know, you can actually connect the production to reservoir. So you have your production profile, but then you do seismic, you have oh, reservoir yeah, okay. images. Yeah. And this is one technology which really connects what's going on in the reservoir and what's coming into your production. Okay. Um, one thing I want to go back to, you merely mentioned, but this is you know, a great example, by the way, um, is the, the, the fracturing, you know, unconventional mm -hmm. uh, hydraulic fracturing. Um, you already mentioned that. All the companies are looking to see what the fracturing uh, efficiency is. That's right. Um, fiber optics and this topic, can you enlighten us a little bit here? Yeah, I mean, um, I'm not an expert in this field, but from discussions with oil companies, um, this new hydrofracking is very new technology, so um, there is really a demand to increase our understanding mm. of how the fracture Absolutely. initiated, how the production starts, and how does it behave over the time. So by having the fiber across the entire you know, well bore, um, initial stages, we can look at, for example, first cement bonding in the same mm -hmm. well as, for example, you want to do hydrofracking. Then we're actually looking at the perforations. We can do seismic. But also during the treatment, we can see how the well is treated. You know, we can actually look mm. at the flow and the fluid flow into different formations. And when you actually uh, produce the well, you can look at the warm back and you can look at the acoustic signature of the well. And you can actually see where the inflows coming into the well. Mm. And over the time, you do the normal production profiling and you could see how these perforations really in real time behave, which is one of the, you know, improves your great understanding yeah. of these sort of uh, um, new shale gas type uh, wells. Okay, um, I think I've gotten a, a very good um, overview and, and in-depth view actually of, of what you're doing and, and the interesting developments with fiber optics. So um, thank you for being here. Thank you for visiting Sarah Week. Thank you very much. Thank you.